All right guys, it is that time of the year. It is 2023 and that means it is time to go through the list of upcoming Christian video games in 2023. We have some pretty interesting titles under development or coming out later this year. I'm super excited to go through them, but before we do, let's actually do a recap of 2022. 2022 saw several different video game titles and one of the most significant was Space Beasts. This is what we awarded the Christian Video Game of the Year at Monastery Studios. It's a musical rhythm game that lets you play through an allegorical retelling of the story of King David. The next title after that would be The Anointed David Saves Kila, an action adventure game that lets you play through the biblical story of David saving the people of Kila from the Philistines. The gameplay is kind of lacking but it was an interesting title nonetheless. We've got an entire review that you can watch on that. The next title is The Adventures of the Old Testament, which is striving to be a video game that plays through the entire Old Testament. I don't know that that's possible. The cutscenes look interesting, but the gameplay is definitely lacking, so it'll be interesting to see if they continue to polish and make this a more cohesive and fun experience throughout the rest of this year. And then the next title we have is the Synexarion Axe Part 1, which is actually a Nintendo Switch title. Very interesting because typically Nintendo Switch is actually rather hostile to Christian video games, but it's interesting to see them allowing a Christian title. This is a top-down adventure game that seems a little lacking on the graphics, but still a uh, curious and actually kind of unique style just the same. So now we get into 2023 titles. And the first one I'm super excited about, which is Bible X. We're not fighting against humans. We're fighting against forces and authorities and against the rules of darkness and powers in the spiritual world. And in that fight, I need help. Help from you. I played through a closed beta for this that kind of highlighted some of what to expect with this project and from what I've seen so far it's absolutely phenomenal. It's bright, colorful, the graphics are gorgeous, it's well scripted, well dialogued. This is an amazing title with an amazing team behind it. Now the gameplay seems like it could use a little bit of polishing but the team has shown itself very receptive to receiving feedback and I'm pretty confident they're going to continue to polish and update this game to be even better and better. As far as the story, this game is set in the future where Christians are persecuted by a government called D-Force and you play as someone who has to go back in time to the days of Jesus Christ and gain information that will allow you to stop D-Force and their persecution of Christians. This is a multiplayer game that actually has mobile features that you can play along with your phone at the same time. So it's going to be an interesting game to get some friends together with you. It's just, I'm blown away. It looks amazing. Later this year, we should be getting an open beta and potentially a full release either this year or next year. The next title, one that we mentioned a couple times actually, that has just continually been under is one of 500. I was born in a world ruled by powers beyond me. This game is very similar in a lot of ways to Bible X, but I don't mean to sweep it under the rug and say it's exactly the same. This is going to be its own kind of experience. You play it as a young fisher boy who follows Jesus Christ through his life, miracles, actually several different chapters in stories in the life of Jesus Christ with action adventure gameplay, but also some RPG elements like branching storylines and decision making within the game. So I see many different elements, especially on their Facebook page where the developers are putting a lot of attention to the detail of the world and they're taking their time with fleshing out the world. I'd rather a game that took their time to flesh it out than one that rushed it out and put out a half-made product. So props to the team behind this. We don't have a fixed release date, so it's hard to say when this is coming out, but I'm blown away. It's super cool. Like, it's so cool. They literally at one point had this feature where you could actually message them for a chance to have your face put into the game. How cool is that? The next title we have, and this is one I actually just heard about. It's a curious title. It's called Aiden and the Secret World. Let the one who does wrong continue to do wrong. Let the one who does right continue to do right. And let the holy person continue to be holy. Now we have kind of a cinematic trailer of sorts that gives us some very curious, beautiful, but curious imagery that leaves me more wondering what to expect more than anything else. This game centers around a 13 year old who enters the spirit world and joins God's army of light to combat the forces of Satan. This is going to be an action adventure, third person, open world video game. And one of the mechanics include obfuscating. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. 
but <laughs> props for fancy words at least. At this point, it's hard for me to tell you guys what to expect because all we see is some cinematic footage and not any gameplay. It's obviously going to be a combat driven game, good graphics, but beyond that, we're going to keep our eyes peeled, stay connected to the channel because we're going to be keeping you guys posted when we get more updates on this title. And the next title that we get is by, yet again, a third year in a row, Christian Game Developers Conference with an unnamed VR game. So this is a post-apocalyptic base building game that allows you to build allegorical walls around the church to protect the church from outside forces like evil, anger, malice, and slander. So it's going to be a pretty interesting experience, probably going to have a multiplayer element. That's something that CGDC has really been pushing with their previous titles. And they've shown with the titles they've already made that they're competent and capable, but it's a VR game. So it's going to be curious. Two times game of the year winners here at Monka Studio Studios. So we'll see how they do with this third title, if they can carry the weight of all their past success with this title. It'll be interesting also to see potentially the first Christian VR game. And the final title of the year is called The Serpent in the Seed. But I have tracked down one of the last remaining copies of this book. Are you brave enough to open it? which is based on a game called Super Brothers Sword and Sorcery. Not necessarily gonna be the same, but based on a lot of the adventure mechanics within this game. This is a mobile game with almost kind of a fantasy retelling of the story of the fall of man due to the serpent or Satan and the ultimate reconquering by Jesus Christ. I don't have a lot of materials to show you guys. There's a cinematic, very artsy trailer that was released. I don't think it's really reflective of what the graphics or visuals within the game are gonna look like, but definitely this looks like it's gonna be a very heavy adventure game. So potentially some point and click whatever the equivalent point and tap on your mobile device so we're gonna keep you guys posted this year we may not get a full release but we should be getting a trailer and a Kickstarter at some point more updates to come later in the year so that's what you guys can expect this year as a full recap for the year I, it's hard to say what's going to happen because a lot of these titles are still under development and a lot of them have low budgets and so we may be seeing several of these titles not actually be released this year just get further updates and the most definite title that I think will be released is likely the Christian game developers VR game because they released two games in a row and each year they managed to develop an entire game and release it So I'm expecting they are going to be releasing their game So stay posted for that the next most likely one is probably Bible X Which we almost definitely will at least get an open beta I don't know if we get a full game release But we should get an open beta this year and the full game release will be at least towards the end of this year Potentially in 2024 the rest of the games is hard to say because a lot of them have been being developed for years So we'll just have to wait and see but that's what what you guys can expect in 2023 i'm excited tell me which game that you saw that you're most excited about and with that peace out keep playing christian video games and we'll see you guys on the flip side as a Christ follower, I've made the resolution to take every opportunity possible to share my faith with the world. If you've never given your life to Christ, I'd love to share with you how Christ has transformed the man that I've become. I've attached my email onto this video where you can shoot me a quick email and I'd love to have that conversation. Or if you're a Christian struggling with your faith or just looking for ways to grow closer to God, I'd love to have that conversation with you. With that, you guys have an awesome day. God bless.